So one of the coolest things about being a tech reviewer on YouTube is that I get to use various devices I can get my hands on and just see how the overall general experience is. Funny thing is about using the Google Pixel 7 is that whenever I use a different device for a few days as my daily driver device and I come back to the Google Pixel 7, maybe it's a placebo effect, but it just feels a lot better when I get it back in hand. A lot of the cool things and features that Google kind of offers it, and it just reminds me of why out of any device, if I have to stick with one, it's going to be a Google Pixel. And I'm gonna keep upgrading to various different Pixel devices to get the newer features and experience to be able to just have an overall good idea of just where Google's going with their Pixel lineup. And I have to say this, I am quite happy that the predictions years ago about this going to the Google graveyard has not happened. Very happy that we're on our eighth generation of Google Pixel devices and about to be on our ninth generation later on this year. The Google Pixel 7 is still my daily driver device. It's still the device that I choose to use as my personal device, pairing it with my Pixel Watch, and they complement each other very well. And the experience overall generally is just outstanding in my opinion. Now, I know that there's devices like the Samsung that's you know made to be powerful and the iPhone that's supposed to have a very fluid ecosystem. But for a user like me, I'm not too concerned about those things. So therefore, the Google Pixel device really fits my everyday needs. Everything from its abilities of just being what, you know, the name of it is, a smartphone. And when you think smartphone, you want it to generally be smart. Now, I'm not taking away anything from Apple or Samsung with their devices. But what I'm saying is, is that Google really emphasizes on AI and making features for the Pixel users to have an enriched experience that is seamless and easy to use. There are things that you can do by voice. There's things that you can do with gesture if you have a Pixel 4 or 4XL. Um, there are just so much things that you could do with, you know, Gemini, replacing Google Assistant, becoming much more smarter. You have all these tons of features that people love about the Google Pixel devices like the hold for me, call screening, spam block. These are just... These are just things that I end up missing when I use something different. Like if I use an iPhone and then I get a spam call and I realize like, oh my gosh, you know, I got a spam call. Like I'm not used to getting these things. You know, Google has me spoiled to all these features and I really have to give it up to them that they did a fantastic job with the generations of Google Pixel devices and making something that is just a different avenue. And I think that's what really drew me to Google Pixels was that it was a different avenue. Most people were settling on Samsung's being the Android phone and iPhone from Apple. And it was like that for the longest, longest time. And yes, we had Google Nexus, which I got to give shout out to the Nexus program was amazing and really showed what Android was supposed to be about. But Samsung kind of overshadowed that to be kind of honest with everybody. And so when the Pixels came out and Google started focusing on photography from a smartphone, really changed the game. And you, you, you know it changed the game. You can't deny that clearly. When you have Apple bringing in their, their, their night shot and you know Samsung and everyone else doing some sort of night sight because Google brought in night sight. Google brought in basically astrophotography and Samsung was like, well, we don't want to keep copying them. So they went ahead and did their own thing with their 100 times zoom shot where you can get a nice, decent quality photo of the moon. So Google, in its way with its Pixel devices, has made some influences on the mobile tech market that we can see. And with the Google Pixel 7 being what it is and just how fluid it is, even now with Android 14, the Tensor G2, which a lot of people had some negative things to say about the chipset, seems to hold up very well today. Gaming on this thing is decent. I have to give it that. I'm not a heavy gamer, so I really can't just go and just say it's like best for all heavy, intense graphical games, but it does play some video games on there really nicely. And overall, the Pixel 7 doesn't have me wishing that I have the Pixel 8. Not taking away from the newer flagship, but just saying that if a device can keep me content with what it's offering, then obviously it's built pretty damn good. So that's just my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think.